Hello everyone and welcome back to another fun-filled adventure with Choo Choo Charles. Uh, our last episode we left off with, uh, I can't remember his name at the moment, but he, uh, he gave us a nice new shiny rocket launcher for our little train. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, yeah. So since we were so close by to him, I wanted to go see who that was and see what they may or I guess may not have for us. You know, I was kind of wondering with this uh, paint can here, does that mean that, can we get other colors for the train? Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade our armor while we can. And, oh, hey, we got gun stats here. Damage two, range three, 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 and three. And you, ooh. that's big boy damage. <laughs> okay. So that's a that's a really quick change out. I like that. Okay, cool. Let's throw the new toy on there for now. Uh, can I get? No, I can't get. Uh, oh boy, I uh. I really don't want to run out there. I really don't. What? Oh, it's a lighthouse. Well, better get to it. Oh, I saw a scrap. got here power panel for something Oop, there's a shed and I see scrap we'll get back to that person in just a minute what is this all about maybe that has something to do with the power panel up there by the house Okay, I don't see anything else out here, so let's head back up. Well, that's not a nice noise. What is that? Is that the wind? Is that Charles and his angry whistle? you we haven't met but i've heard lots about you coming to help us i have a favor to ask the breakers on the side of the lighthouse need replacing as luck would have it i have them already i was recently attacked by charles so i'm unable to do it myself the breakers are in the nearby supply shed if you go get them and repair the lighthouse i can try signaling passing ships to come help us once you okay. finish i have some spare scraps to give you well, I, I could always use more scraps. That would be that would be just delightful of you. What does this say? Please deliver a copy to Paul. I went outside to do a routine check of the lighthouse. As I walked around the corner of the building, I saw that beast, Charles. He spotted me and charged straight up the hill in my direction. That spider train is a hideous monster. I can't understand why Warren wants us to stay on our, our Nerum? I think that's how they pronounced it. Uh, instead of trying to escape the beast. I suppose Warren has simply gone crazy thinking he can handle this situation on his own. In any case, Charles ran right over me, trampling my leg. I won't be able to attend the upcoming meeting and have and have asked Greg to bring back a copy of your notes if possible. Okay. So you got ran over by Charles. Sounds painful. And uh, I would know. Ah, so there is an order. Uh-oh. 
That's a, uh, that's a loud whistle. Charles doesn't like loud whistles. He doesn't like to be challenged. Fixing the lighthouse will definitely increase our chances of being spotted. Here are those scraps I promised. Cool. Uh, okay, cool. So we can check the inventory to see how much we have. We have 45. This is good. This is good. Still can't open that door. Uh, let me... Just go ahead and put one of those there because... You know. That's a long way to go. And I want to make sure I'm going in the right direction the whole time. Oh, sweet train. Okay. Oh, we doing damage now. Oh, where do I want to go? Uh, oh. Oh, that's right. We got the uh, key to the mine. Let's go up there. Uh-oh. I see him. Don't you come over here, Charles. Charles, you stay away from me. I don't choo-choo choose you. You get away from me, Charles. Eat missile. Get fucked! <laughs> How you like them apples? Okay. Now, before I get going too far, is there... Nope, oh, we need to back up. A little more. Let's see. Yeah, now we're going the way we want to go. <laughs> yeah, that's a victory whistle. Oh, I just barely noticed that. We're going back for that. I saw a big yellow box. I like big yellow boxes. Nothing with that. Another box. hear somebody whistling. That can't be good. Uh, tween, let me see. We need 28 to... Looks like to max out our damage. Um, but, I want a little, little extra speed. I'm guessing since he's wearing a mask that looks like Charles' face, he's not going to be very nice to us. Okay, 
Okay, well, while he's distracted... Oh, I hate this. I like that, but I hate everything else. Lean to spy on enemies and avoid being spotted. Lean with Q and E. Well, we figured that out already, so that's good. I'm guessing we gotta go where the torches are lit up here. What's up here? More scrap and I'm guessing I'm guessing there's a way around to get that and escape out another way. Okay. Sure. Oh, shit. Oh, he's not going to come in here, is he? Damn, I went into that box. Oh, there's no way they didn't hear that. Oh! Oh, it's the way out! Get me out of here! Shouldn't be here. No, you're right! I shouldn't be here! I am leaving! Don't you worry, I am out of here, sir. I have learned my lesson. Don't steal from spider train fanatics. Bye bye. Okay, that was terrifying. Um. So that's where... Oh, no, wait. That's the pickle thing. Remember them saying that... I thought somebody said something to take the egg somewhere, didn't they? I don't know. Whoop! Hold it, you. No, 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 no. I saw that. Okay. There's scrap down there. Do I want to go down there? No, I mean not not really. No. But I kind of kind of do. I do and I don't. It looks like there's a building over there to explore, so we might end up down there regardless. Uh, we got 14. I cannot do anything with 14. Is there a... Oh, there's a, uh, a mission person here. Okay. Well, let's go pay him a visit.
Hello? Anybody home? Are you a Charles fanatic? Oh. Mutiny... Meeting... Mutiny meeting notes. I have discussed our latest battle plan with everyone, and nobody had objections. The whole crew knows what to do, and will set the track's directions accordingly when the time comes. All the archivist needs to focus on is pummeling that beast, keeping his distance, and getting Charles to his weakest point. My father should be back within two days, at which point we can supply him and the hunter with the keys and other supplies we've gathered. We never wanted to take such harsh action against Warren and the other miners, but he's twisted our arms too long, Charles needs to go, and Warren won't stand in our way. Well, I mean... They're getting in the way a little bit. Just just a smidge. Is there really nobody here? Oh, you're out here. Okay. You're hiding outside on the balcony. Another note. Stakeout summary, day three, location four. I've been stalking out this area for days and Charles has never crossed the old wood bridge. Somehow, that beast is cunning enough to know it's dangerous, but if he's angry and desperate, he might just chase someone across it, then BAM! We use John's bombs to blow the whole thing up, and Charles falls face first into the canyon. If the blast doesn't kill him, the fall surely will. Maybe. It's a good idea. Are, uh, are we gonna do that? You're the archivist my father told me about. Uh... Uh, yes, yes, I am. Uh, Although, I'm disappointed to see that he chose to stay on the mainland rather than return with you. Well, uh, yeah, sure, he stayed on the mainland. Not to say that your help isn't appreciated, but we could have used his aid as well. If you haven't already heard from the others, the mine boss Warren is protecting dangerous monster eggs that could lead to catastrophe. I have one. While our main plan is to summon Charles into a duel and fight him to the death, We've devised a perfect trap as a precaution that may help defeat him. Go attach these remote explosives to each of the support pillars under the wood bridge out there. Then meet me back here. Okay. Okay. I tried the old bridge bomb trap. Do we need to be down here or another up there? Well, it's a, it's a tad bit spooky down here, I'm not going to lie. Let's just let's just go up to the bridge. I don't want to be down there. I got the piece of scrap I saw. I'm good. Ah, the rest of that place can just be dead to me now. Aha. Two. Oh, I see. There's probably going to be the fourth one right here, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay. Yep. Let me back in. Or Charles nibbles my jibbles. Like he did to your dad. I mean, uh, he's back on the That's mainland. the tallest and weakest bridge on the island. So if Charles ever crosses it, we can blow him sky high. Okay. I'll but be will he cross it? To detonate the charges, but it's still up to you to summon and fight him. The hell am I going to do that? Here, take this. It's the key to the temple. Once you think you're prepared enough, 
You can break in and fight the battle of a lifetime. Okay. All right. So, summon Charles with the eggs and end his reign. Okay. So this is where we take the eggs. I thought... Where is it? Yeah, so it was over here when I talked to the person over here. I thought I had to take the egg back to them. I thought is what they'd said. Oh, that's so cool. You can see the little lighthouse over there. I like that. That's a nice touch. Okay. So, how long have I been going? Nah, we'll go... We'll go check out this next guy, and then I think I might end things there so it's not going crazy long. Off we go. He's just right here. Okay, we have 27. I need one more for damage to be up all the way, it looks like. Uh, am I going to get an easy, an easy piece right here? I am, thank you. You're so generous. Oh, yeah. Oh, we messing your face up the next time we see you. Hello. So, the fabled hunter has finally arrived. Yes, ma'am. You know, my late husband built a gun to help fight Charles, but Warren's goons stole the barrels and took him up to their camp. Of course they did. Bob was such a brave man. Much braver than you, I bet. That's rude. You don't even know me. Take what I have left of the gun and steal back those other parts. You can put it back together to use against Charles. Just do me one favor, will you? Sure. If you do end up using it, name it Bob in memory of my honey. <laughs> you got it. That is a perfectly fair trade. I'd be more than happy to use Bob to blow a hole through uh, Charles' face. Okay, so now, speaking of which, uh, where did they hide Bob? There's Bob. Alright. Uh, well, let's go ahead and talk to the next person up the line. Uh, after, well... Listen. You may think I'm being a little paranoid, but you've never been chased by a giant spider train. I want my train as close as possible. To Mr. Reverend, today's sermon was a true inspiration during these trying times. Very well thought out and thorough in every manner. I believe I speak for the whole congregation when I say that we admire your confidence and steadfast wisdom as we grieve our lost brothers and sisters. Ah, uh, more scrap. What do we got here? Sermon outline. God is very, very mad, I think, probably. Charles, maybe devil, 96% certain. Uh, I, I agree with that. Always sneaky. Spider versus snake. Spiders have more legs, usually. Uh, yeah, sure. God always wins, hopefully sacrifices. As for volunteers, don't cry a lot. I hate that Charles can come up on me while I'm reading. Closing prayer, clean up. Where is he? Well, he's certainly nearby if I can hear him. Wonder where he was. Uh, you know, uh, let's... Oh, he's right there. He's right there. He's coming right for me. Oh, crap. This ain't gonna go good. Oh, 
Yeah, I got some damage for you now, don't I? You got nothing, Charles. You can't mess with me now. Yeah, I got your number, don't I? Okay. Now, after we've been rudely interrupted, let's head back to this house that we were going to. Charles wanted to play a game of fuck around and find out, and well, he found out. You found out, son! Okay. archivist in all your radiant glory oh Paul, i'm radiant me, thank you mine's containing an egg but before i give it to you i have to warn you about something is it the cult members there's an ancient shrine on the island a pyramid of sorts with a curious prism located at the top the prism seems to have been designed for one purpose to destroy monster eggs three slots are carved into the prism which perfectly fit the eggs when fully loaded a massive beam of energy is emitted, seemingly drawn from the eggs themselves. The mutineers hope this event will lure Charles to a mortal fight as he comes in defense of the eggs. Now for the real warning. Charles has the ability to absorb energy from the burst, strengthening and enraging him. Oh shit. We saw it once before, and he may become even more dangerous this time. However, it's not my place to oppose, despite the danger. So, here's the mind key. Once you have retrieved all the eggs and the key to the shrine, we might just be able to end this hell. Alrighty then. At last night's meeting, Greg told us a crazy conspiracy about Warren trying to use spider trains for world domination. As part of the crew that worked in the temple, I'm far from convinced. While the prism was extracting the life energy from a batch of eggs, Charles attacked us for the first time. Not only did he fight like hell while the eggs were being destroyed, but he nearly doubled in size as he fought as if he were consuming the energy. His legs grew larger and stronger while his face grew more distorted, right before our eyes. Those of us who survived couldn't even fathom what we had witnessed. That was when Warren hid the eggs and ordered us to protect them. That was when he began evacuating people. That was when everything turned for the worst. I know Warren has plenty of skeletons in his closet, but I can't help thinking he might actually be looking out for us this time. Maybe. I mean, it's a possibility. But, I'm also hearing that he's trying to use spider trains to take over the world. So, how much is he really looking out for you if he's doing that, right? We have nine, so what do we got here? We need 20 for another upgrade here, 16 for another upgrade here. So we're we're doing good. We're doing good. Um I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and in this one here, we've been running about 30 minutes, so I wanna I don't wanna go super super long, uh, but uh this is this is getting more and more interesting. So we're having on one side of the story the the mind guy is crazy who wants to take over the world and now we're hearing another side of the story where he may in fact be trying to just keep people safe by locking the eggs away so that Charles doesn't go on a murderous rampage and double in size. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to find out which way the story is going to go. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you did, don't go anywhere. I didn't ask you to move. That was a misclick. Uh, 
But if you did enjoy watching, please leave a like, ring that bell, and hit that subscribe button. It does help me out a lot, and I will see you all next time. Thank you.